Gaji, Wikipedia Audio Gaji, Gaji Berry, or Wolf Berry is the fruit of either the Lyceum barbarum or Lyceum chinans, two closely related species of boxthorn in the nightshade family, Solanaceae. The family also includes the potato, tomato, eggplant, belladonna, chili pepper, and tobacco. The two species are native to Asia. Wolfberry species are deciduous woody perennial plants, growing 1-3 m high. L. chinense is grown in the south of China and tends to be somewhat shorter, while L. barbarum is grown in the north, primarily in the Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, and tends to be somewhat taller. Wolfberry leaves form on the shoot either in an alternating arrangement or in bundles of up to three, each having either a lanceolate or ovate shape. Leaf dimensions are 7 cm long by 3.5 cm broad with blunted or rounded tips. Description The flowers grow in groups of 1 to 3 in the leaf axils. The calyx consists of bell-shaped or tubular sepals forming short, triangular lobes. The corolli are lavender or light purple, 9-14 mm wide with 5 or 6 lobes shorter than the tube. The stamens are structured with filaments longer than the anthers. The anthers are longitudinally dehiscent. In the Northern Hemisphere Flowering occurs from June through September and berry maturation from August to October, depending on the latitude, altitude, and climate. The largest annual harvest in China, accounting for 45% of the nation's total yield of wolfberries, formation of an industrial association of growers, processors, marketers, and scholars of wolfberry cultivation to promote the berry's commercial and export potential, the nation's only source of superior grade wolfberries used by practitioners of traditional Chinese medicine. These species produce a bright orange-red, ellipsoid berry 1-2 cm in diameter. The number of seeds in each berry varies widely based on cultivar and fruit size, containing 1060 tiny yellow seeds that are compressed with a curved embryo. The berries ripen from July to October in the Northern Hemisphere. Lyceum, the genus name, is derived from the ancient southern Anatolian region of Lycia. The fruit is known in pharmacological references as Lycii fructus which is Latin for Lyceum fruit. Wolfberry, a commonly used English name, has unknown origin, perhaps confusion over the genus name, Lyceum, which resembles Lycos, the Greek word for wolf. In the English-speaking world, the name Gaji Berry has been used starting around 2000. The word Gaji is an approximation of the pronunciation of Gig, the name for L. Chinans in several Chinese dialects, including Hokkien and Changhineset. In the official classification, L. Barbarum is known as Matrimony Vine and L. Chinese as Chinese Desert Thorn. Dried berries, berry pieces in granola bars, yogurt products, green tea products. Since the early 21st century, interest has increased in wolfberries for their novelty and supposed nutrient value. They have been termed a superfruit, which has led to a profusion of consumer products. In traditional medicine, the whole fruit or its extracts are said to have numerous implied health effects, which remain scientifically unconfirmed as of 2014. The majority of commercially produced gaji comes from Ningxia and Xinjiang in northwestern China, where they are grown on plantations totaling 200,000 acres. In Zhongning County, Ningxia, wolfberry plantations typically range between 40 and 400 hectares in area. As of 2005, over 10 million mu have been planted with gaji in Ningxia.
an additive for manufacturing, juice concentrate, whole fruit puree, pulp powders, whole or ground seeds. Leaves and Flowers Ningxiaogaji has been cultivated along the fertile flood plains of the Yellow River for more than 700 years and have earned a reputation throughout Asia for premium quality sometimes described commercially as red diamonds. Government releases of annual wolfberry production, premium fruit grades, and export are based on yields from Ningxia, the region recognized with. Commercial volumes of wolf berries also grow in the Chinese regions of Inner Mongolia, Qinghai, Gansu, Shaanxi, Shangxi, and Hebei. When ripe, the oblong, red berries are tender and must be picked carefully or shaken from the vine into trays to avoid spoiling. The fruits are preserved by drying them in full sun on open trays or by mechanical dehydration employing a progressively increasing series of heat exposure over 48 hours. Wolf berries are celebrated each August in Ningxia with an annual festival coinciding with the berry harvest. Originally held in Ningxia's capital, Yinchuan, the festival has been based since 2000 in Zhongning County an important center of wolfberry cultivation for the region. As Ningxia's borders merge with three deserts, wolfberries are also planted to control erosion and reclaim irrigable soils from desertification. China, the main supplier of wolfberry products in the world, had total exports generating 120 million US dollar in 2004. This production derived from 82,000 hectare farmed nationwide, yielding 95,000 tons of wolfberries, which has increased from larger acreages cultivated in recent years. China's Green Food Standard, administered by the Chinese Ministry of Agriculture's China Green Food Development Center, permits some pesticide and herbicide use. On June 18, 2007, the UK Food Standards Agency stated a significant history exists of the fruit being consumed in Europe before 1997, and has removed it from the novel foods list. It is now legal to sell the wolfberry in the UK as a food as reported by the Food Standards Agency, though with concerns over marketing claims over potential health benefits. Importation of wolfberry plants into the United Kingdom from most countries outside Europe is illegal, due to the possibility they could be vectors of diseases attacking Solanaceae crops, such as potato or tomato. Fruit Naming During the first decade of the 21st century, Farmers in Canada and the United States began cultivating gaji on a commercial scale to meet potential markets for fresh berries, juice, and processed products. Significance Cultivation China Pesticide and fungicide use United Kingdom Wolf berries are usually sold in open boxes and small packages in dried form. As a food, dried wolf berries are traditionally cooked before consumption. Dried wolf berries are often added to rice congee and almond jelly, as well as used in Chinese tonic soups, in combination with chicken or pork, vegetables, and other herbs such as wild yam, Astragalus membranaceus. Codonocyce pilosula, and licorice root. The berries are also boiled as a herbal tea, often along with chrysanthemum flowers and slash or red jujubes, or with tea, and packaged teas are also available. Various wines containing wolf berries are also produced, including some that are a blend of grape wine and wolf berries. Importation of mature plants Young wolfberry shoots and leaves are also harvested commercially as a leaf vegetable. 
Although Gaji is the subject of basic research to determine if it has physiological properties, lack of clinical evidence and poor quality control in the manufacture of consumer products prevent Gaji from being clinically recommended or applied. In vitro testing has revealed that the T inhibited warfarin metabolism, providing evidence for possible interaction between warfarin and undefined wolfberry phytochemicals. Potentially harmful interactions may occur if wolfberry is consumed while taking other medications, such as those metabolized by the cytochrome P450 liver enzymes. Such drugs include warfarin, or drugs for diabetes or hypertension. Since the early 21st century, the dried fruit has been marketed in the West as a health food often accompanied by scientifically unsupported claims regarding its purported health benefits. Companies marketing the berries often propagate the unsupported claim that a Chinese man named Li Qingyun, who was said to have consumed wolf berries daily, lived to the age of 256 years. There is no evidence that this is any more than a marketing myth. The presence of wolfberry in health food stores and grocery markets is increasing in the United Kingdom and other countries. Other wolfberry consumer applications include Canada and United States Commercial suppliers have processed wolfberry as In June 2007 the United Kingdom's Food Standards Agency published the results of its inquiry concluding that gaji berries were not a novel food in Europe. The inquiry found that the berries were already in wide use before 1997 and had a history sufficient to suggest safety. The FSA is an advisor to the European Union's European Food Safety Authority. Had the berries been found to be a novel food, Gaji berries would have required authorization from the European Council and Parliament. Uses In January 2007, marketing statements for a Gaji juice product were the subject of an investigative report by CBC Television's Consumer Advocacy Program Marketplace. By one specific example in the CBC interview, Earl Mindel falsely claimed the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York had completed clinical studies showing that use of wolfberry juice would prevent 75% of human breast cancer cases. Culinary Medical Research Safety Issues During 2006, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration placed two Gaji juice distributors on notice with warning letters about unproven therapeutic benefits. These statements were in violation of the United States Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act because they established the product as a drug intended for use in the cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease when wolf berries or juice have had no such scientific evaluation. Additionally stated by the FDA, the Gaji juice was not generally recognized as safe and effective for the referenced conditions and therefore must be treated as a new drug under Section 21 of the Act. New drugs may not be legally marketed in the United States without prior approval of the FDA. On May 29, 2009, a class action lawsuit was filed against Free Life in the United States District Court of Arizona. This lawsuit alleges false claims, misrepresentations, false and deceptive advertising and other issues regarding Free Life's Himalayan Gaji Juice, Gochi, and Thai Slim products. This lawsuit seeks remedies for consumers who have purchased these products over the past several years. A settlement agreement was reached on April 28, 2010, where Free Life will take steps to ensure that its Gaji products are not marketed as unheated or raw, and made a contribution to an educational organization. Marketing 
commercial products marketed outside Asia. No special conditions in the EU. Marketing claims under scrutiny in Canada and the United States.